Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about what it takes to have a successful listings based real estate business. Whether you're a brand new agent or an experienced agent, if you're an experienced agent, meaning you've been in real estate for several years, you know that how you're going to have control of your time, control of your finances and control of your life is by focusing on listings. And if you're a brand new agent, uh, the minute you take a buyer out for the first time, you're going to realize that having listings is a much better way to run your business. So then the question is, how do you get listings? Well, you have two options. You can wait for people to call you and tell you that they want to list their house with you. You can pay a lot of money to buy leads, meaning, so let's define a lead, okay? You could pay a lot of money and there are plenty of people and sources and companies out there that will take your money and they potentially give you leads, meaning someone who's going to be selling their house. And here you go, figure it out now, okay? Or you can go find people that want to sell and then you set an appointment, you go out and you list their house. Sounds easy, right? Actually, it could be fairly easy if you do things the right way because there is a right way and there is a wrong way. There's an effective way. There's an ineffective way. There's a fast way track to getting things done and there's the slow way of not getting it done which in many cases is going to have you be discouraged and maybe even give up on what it is you're doing i built my real estate career on listings and talking to people meaning prospecting lead generating cold calling it's all the same thing whatever you want to call it and I built it from nothing, nothing meaning no sales experience, no college education, nothing working in my favor. It's possible. I'm not special. I am not any kind of genius or smarter than anybody. I just worked hard. And there's today, because I've been in real estate for 26 years, there are a lot easier ways to get where I got in my real estate career, which was listing 150 FISBOs and expireds a year for several years, selling 130 homes a year on my own. Personally, I didn't have a team. I was doing this on my own, the listings, and I had one assistant. Okay, so how do you do that? Okay, let's agree that you have to talk to people. What is going to dictate how many people you have to talk to to set an appointment there are some variables so let me share those with you because again whether you're starting in real estate or you've been in real estate for a while and you have been more buyer focused and listings focused and now you want to actually take listings how are you going to make this happen in the most efficient way possible here are the variables who you prospect to, who you talk to, makes a huge difference in the results you're gonna get. Write this down, get a pen and paper and write this down. All contacts, a contact, let me define it for you, is having a conversation with an adult that can make a decision about selling real estate. Could be buying or selling, and you may get some buyer leads and that would be an entirely different video. I have made some and I could make another video on why you shouldn't be working with buyers. So right now, a contact is speaking with an adult that can make a decision about buying or selling real estate and you're looking for someone who wants to sell. That's the definition of a contact. I trust you wrote that down and also write this down. All contacts are not created equally. They're not equal. If you, for example, 
decide to call around the neighborhood. I did a lot of that my first two years in real estate. You will end up talking to 100, 200, 300, who knows, could be several hundred people before you find one that wants to sell today. To find one that wants to sell today, you're likely to talk to several hundred people, which can take some time. You're likely to find some people, Now, I wouldn't even say a lot of people, but you're gonna find some people that may say, well, I think I may sell it in, you know, next year or in two, in a couple of years, like future leads. When you are calling around neighborhoods, you're going to find future business. Once in a while, you're going to find one right now. Now, there are more variables to how many contacts you need to make to set an appointment, to find somebody who wants to sell so you can set an appointment. Who you talk to is a variable. If you are calling instead of neighborhood calls, if you call for sale by owners, remember, you got to find somebody who wants to sell so you could set an appointment so that you could go on that appointment and take a listing. When you call a for sale by owner, every ex for sale by owner you talk to, not only do they want to sell, they are selling. Their house is currently for sale and they don't have an agent yet. Explain to me why you would call random neighborhoods, talk to hundreds of people to find somebody who wants to sell when you can call for sale by owners and everyone is selling. I remember when this thought kind of hit me when I was brand new to real estate, it's like, whoa, this is so dumb. Why am I calling all these people in this neighborhood? Well, uh, I called Fizzbos too, and I called every Fizzbo I could get my hands on. And I also called expired listings. That's another one, right? Just like for sale by owners. Expired, especially new expires, not old expires. Old expires could be okay, but brand new expires. Their house was for sale until yesterday. It didn't sell. 40 to 50% of these people relist within 72 hours. These are not long-term leads. They are not, no matter what anybody else out there is telling you. These are now business. Facebook's and expired. So if you choose to make neighborhood calls, well, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to take a lot more conversations for you to take a listing. If you call Facebook's and expireds, it's going to happen a lot faster. For one thing, in order for you to set a listing appointment, I said this two or three times, but I want to make sure it gets in your head. It's ingrained in there. For you to set a listing appointment, you got to find somebody who wants to sell. Fizzbos and expireds are selling. Okay, what's the next variable? How many people you speak with? The quantity. Yeah, one way for you to make sure you set more listing appointments, find more people that want to sell, is talk to more people, period. If you talk to 10 people a day or 100 people a day, clearly, the more people you talk to, the better chance you have of finding someone who wants to sell. Now, again, if you're calling people that you know want to sell and you're calling lots of those people, your chances now increase dramatically. And the third variable is, what are you saying to them? The quality of your communication, that's a huge variable. All scripts are not created equally. There are scripts that are just gonna have you spinning your wheels and you're gonna wonder, like, get discouraged. I'm talking to people and I'm saying, you know what, some coach or trainer or whoever, or my broker, I don't know who, or agent told me to say, and I'm not setting appointments. Go download my for sale burner script. You can get it for free. It's, you're on my YouTube channel. There's a link on the header and you can get my for sale burner script. Use that script. You will set appointments because <laughs> agents do every single day. Or you could do somebody else's script where, oh, can I come look at your house if I have a buyer, blah, blah, blah. And if there are any agents in your market 
that are using my script, well, guess what? They're going to go get the appointment while you're wasting your time having a conversation that this visible has zero interest in, and you're going out previewing properties and wasting your time. The quality of your conversations, not only the script that you use, because that's important, but even more important is how you deliver the script. There's a huge difference between saying to you, I am confident that I can sell your house and saying, I am confident that I can sell your house. Huge difference. Same words delivered completely differently. And the meaning, it changes the meaning. Whoever is listening to you speak with upswings and lack of confidence. And you know, if you're brand new to real estate or you've never made calls, it's understandable that you'll be a little bit nervous about this. And at the same time, how are you going to get better at this? You're going to get better by learning, having someone teach you what to do, who's been there, done that, by modeling, by copying someone who's effective and successful, doing what they do. They've done it already. Why not just follow that path? and do it effectively. Look, there's different ways of doing it, okay? You, you can take the slow path, you can take the fast path, you can take a path that's gonna make you better every single day and you're gonna feel empowered or one that you're gonna get discouraged and discouraged and discouraged. I actually think taking the wrong path is one of the reasons why the real estate industry is so, so I don't, the agents come in and out of real estate. It's, it's so transient. It's the, the, the average real estate agent within 18 months or they get a license and they are out of real estate. Why? Because they take the wrong path. They listen to the wrong advice and they get discouraged and they realize, well, I can't make a living doing this, selling three or four houses a year. So I'm going to go get a real job. When you do it correctly, you can you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, or even millions of dollars a year, depending on where you're selling real estate. And you can do it working 40 hours a week because maybe you listen to this now and it doesn't even fit in your brain. You're like, okay, how is that possible? It is possible. One step at a time doing the right things in the right way. So I've given you the variables. Now you have to decide how you're gonna, how you're gonna approach this. You know you want more listings. Who are you going to talk to? How many people are you going to talk to? And what are you going to say to them? And how is it that you're going to say what you say to them? Those are the things that are going to make a difference in the results that you get. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Click the bell next to it. If you have any questions or comments on this video, please leave it in the comments below. I will respond. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon.